ただ Hey, what's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Welcome back.、Um, so, today I'm gonna do like another Shigin lesson video. I can't call it a lesson because I'm not a teacher, so I'm not allowed to teach people. Otherwise, all my senseis are gonna get like mad at me. So, this is not a lesson. This is me sharing something with you. So,、uh, what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna try and run through. One of my favorite poems, songs, things, and、uh, yeah, show y'all a little bit of how that works. And hopefully, you can do some of it too. I don't know. Like I said, not a teacher, just sharing. Just sharing. Okay, so this is one of my favorite songs. I've sung it many, many times. And it is called, sorry for the noise, it is called Kotoni. Kanzu. Now, when this stuff is written, like here, this stuff is originally written in Chinese when they first wrote the poems, and then here next to it. So here, you'll have the actual Chinese poem. Now, of course, you know, Japanese uses Chinese characters as well, but、uh, when a lot of these poems were written, they were written in Chinese first, because I think that was one of the, the big languages, like everybody learned Chinese. As kind of like the cultural elite or something like that. I'm not really sure on the history, but、uh, back then they would write them in Chinese. So here we have the Chinese poem. And then here in,、uh, on the side we have the Japanese reading. The title is called Kotoni、uh, Kanzu.、Um, and the ni is like a Japanese particle, but it's not actually in here.、Um, so this is just written with the kanji. And it's called Uhun,、uh, which is the name of the、uh, author, which I think, I think was a Chinese person. Because in this,、uh, you'll have Chinese authors and Japanese authors, so I'm not really sure. I think it's Chinese, though.、Um, so, here, if we've never done this before, how this works is you'll have these, let me zoom out, you have these marks, right? These little red marks. And these marks represent your pitch, essentially.、Um, we use a、um, device called a digital conductor, which has the notes on it, and I'll try and put it up、uh, maybe somewhere around here、um, that has the notes on it, and you can hear it, and that'll give you your pitch and everything.、Uh, let's listen to the. Digital conductor. Okay, so with that, you'll notice that with the conductor, you'll have a note and it'll be indicated with the same symbol. So, this is basically、uh, three and a half.、Uh, this one. So, this is three, and this is a little tick mark. This is three and a half. So, here, this would be our starting note, right? So, with the three and a half, again, which would sound for me, because I'm sort of a mid range voice, would sound like this. So, you know, roughly it's Hana, Hirakeba. Now, here, what this does is basically it's really visual. You go down, you go up, you go down, essentially. So, if we start here at a three and a half, so Hana, Hirakeba, and it's always like on the last syllable, the last sound where you would go down or go up, make any、uh, vocal changes. So, at the ba, the a, Would go down. So, ba, and then back up. Ah. So, where are we going? Right? So, this three and a half, three and a half here, we would go down to a three. Hirakeba. And then up 
again to the um, uh, three and a half. Ah, uh, so ah, uh, hirakeba. Right? And here we have the three, so we'd kind of just keep that same. Hirakeba. Cho, which is like butterfly. Edani. So six, we would jump up to a six. So, Cho Edani. So this is, imagine going down some stairs, like gung, 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 right? So, Edani. So again, we have six, and we go down to, I think this is down to a, Edani. Yeah, down to a five. And then here we would jump up to a seven. This is, so if, if we imagine this mark here being our six, then this being slightly elevated would be above the six. This would be a seven. So Edani And I'll kind of show you how this works in a minute. Right now here it's kind of tricky. It's not marked, but this is more of a, a like the bouncing ball, right? Mitsu. And also here our end note here and here are, are sort of connected. So, Edani. Mitsu. So, they're sort of the same note. Mitsu. Okay. So. Okay. So, um, everybody, what we're going to do uh, today, I'm going to stop it for here today. And so, I want to kind of slowly go through uh, this poem has about four, not about, has four columns, and today I kind of covered this one, the first column, and if you want, you know, I can go through, we can go through the other three and try to do it all together. So today I tried, you know, to do a little, a little bit of an explanation. I'm not that good at it. Again, not a teacher. I, I just want to share it with y'all. You feel me? So uh, y'all for real, let me know what you think. Uh, comment, holler at me, you know, uh, do you want to see more of this? Do you want me to continue? Um, I don't think there's anything about this really in English, let alone on YouTube. I think I'm the only one doing it. So, you know, y'all help me out. Give me some feedback. Tell me what y'all think. But anyway, I love y'all. hope y'all having a good one. It's cold here. It's snowing a little bit. So y'all stay warm. And uh, yeah, catch you next one. Love y'all.